around there is cold. Oh, oh what? A jumping double from cold. What is there going on right now? How does he do this? Look this man. Don't rule out this man inside. Smokey turns back. Oh my God, devil. Going for it. The defuse is already happening. Eco, are you kidding me? He's gonna go for it. They win the round. Eco picks up a triple and cloud now. Cheating is killing CS. Let's talk about it. The year is 2012, and CSGO has just released the public. <laughs> Players are thrilled and things are going well. However, CSGO relied primarily on Valve's VAC anti-cheat system. VAC worked by scanning for known cheat programs, but could not effectively detect private or custom cheats until they were already being widely used. This allowed cheaters to gain an upper hand before Valve could identify and ban the cheat programs through periodic ban waves. Valve attempted to curb cheating, even through measures like paid accounts, but dedicated cheaters could simply buy new accounts after the bans. Cheating in Counter-Strike games has always been a long-standing issue, but even after decades, the problem is only getting worse. The announcement of Counter-Strike 2 sparked a new beginning, an upgrade, something that would have made the wait worth it. But on the 27th of September, when CS2 hit Steam, things only got worse. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. An in-depth new article on Valve's new Acros anti-cheat system said it was being used to detect cheaters in CS2 tournaments, indicating cheating was already widespread in the competitive scene. Oh, jeepers. The same article mentions over 30 players were caught cheating in the open qualifiers for the PGL Major Copenhagen in 2024, just four months after CS2's launch. Players were reporting 50 to 75% of their games being filled with cheaters. A lot of popular CS players have had enough and are slowly leaving the game. Now, I'm quitting because, uh, like everybody else, so... I myself run into cheaters every other game, but I still play. Maybe I have a smooth brain and enjoy getting aimboys. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Either way, the majority of people are beginning to give up hope. And so would I if I saw content creators plainly advertising and showcasing different cheats for CS2 on YouTube shortly after its release. So today's video is going to be a cheat tier list coming from basically someone that uses CS2 cheats like consistently and all the time. And there's some cheats in here that I do plan to use that I haven't yet. So the CS2 community and content creators were clearly sounding alarms about a severe cheating epidemic as early as January, March 2024, mere months after the game released in September of 2023. So what was Valve doing about this cheating epidemic? VAC Live is an improved version of CSGO's VAC anti-cheat. VAC Live can detect third-party cheating software in real time and instantly cancel any matches where a cheater is present. It rapidly assesses reported players' stats and performance to swiftly hand down bans after even a single report. This allows for much faster detection and removal of cheaters compared to past back interactions. Sounds good, right? But there's one problem. Cheaters are still not getting banned. <laughs> I mean, some might question if they even forgot to turn back live on. Valve reportedly earns around $54 million per month on average from Counter-Strike case sales and keys alone. That's such a good point. Oh! Yes, let's yes, go! Oh. Please be a knife. Or a gloves. Oh. Please be a gloves. And in March of 2023, a record 39.5 million cases were reportedly opened, potentially earning Valve over $100 million for that month alone from cases and keys. So what are they doing with the money? You are wasting too much time. You should be gambling 24 hours a day. That's the only meaningful way to live your life. 99% of gamblers stop right before winning a gazillion dollars. It's all about the mindset. Never stop gambling. Given Valve's $6.9 billion evaluation and the staggering revenue generated just from CSGO and CS2 cases and keys, it seems entirely plausible that they could afford to simply acquire or pay off a significant portion of the independent CS2 cheat makers 
and providers if they truly wanted to cut off the supply. The costs would likely be a drop in the bucket compared to Valve's overall finances and is surely worth it to preserve the competitive integrity in their flagship Counter-Strike franchise. Streamer Onipixel said he wouldn't mind an invasive anti-cheat like Vanguard and Valorant. Even if your data might be farmed and sold to Chinese companies. Was that Beijing? So why doesn't Valve implement that? There are suggestions that Valve may implement a more invasive anti-cheat system in CS2. This could potentially give Valve deeper access to player data and system information to better identify cheating software. However, it could raise privacy concerns for some players, but for others, that risk is well worth the reward. On October 31st, 2023, CS2 lost 184,000 players in the previous month, which was an 18.92% loss of the total player base at that time. This was described as the highest percentage player loss since October 2012 for the Counter-Strike franchise. So, invasive or not, the anti-cheats being used aren't working, and unless they fix it soon, they might find there is no player base to release it to. Or is the Counter-Strike franchise too big to die? By the way, this is my first time trying this kind of video format, so if I could do something better, please let me know in the comments. And also any video ideas you guys would love to see, drop them down in the comments as well.